Yesterday, the Treasury Department put out a report on financial regulation, recommended perhaps 100 different moves, mostly to deregulate. Yep. Uh, the House passed the Choice Act about a week ago, did yep. the same thing, many of the same things. The, the Treasury talks about fewer stress tests for banks, more cost-benefit analysis of new regulations, higher threshold for big bank rules to kick in, um, exemptions from, of, uh, for small banks from the Volcker Rule. Um, that is the Trump administration's policy as of yesterday. As of yesterday, it seems to be. So let me get this straight. The sum of the biggest financial institutions in this country are now bigger than they were when they were too big to fail. And the Republican plan, now evidently joined in part with the, the Republican administration, is to say, I know, let's do less regulations, submit them to fewer stress tests, have fewer of them subject to the Volcker Rule, Let's trim back on a lot of that, because what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Nobody remembers what happened in 2008. Uh, in fact, as I understand the House, which we've had more time mm -hmm. to look at the specific language, in many cases what the House wants to do with some of the biggest financial institutions is they want to cut regulations back to be f not just where they were when everything crashed in 2008, but even weaker regulations than we had in 2008. And you know, I just gotta say to a crowd like this, boy, everybody should be saying no, 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 no. Yes, there may be some financial institutions that would have better short-term, you know, quarter by quarter profits on this, but everyone in this room needs to remember that the most conservative estimate of the costs of that crash in 2008 was not just the $700 billion bailout, it was the $14 trillion that it cost the entire economy in homes lost, in jobs lost, in savings lost. People in this room should understand that better than anyone. Whether you're in retail, whether you're hoping for loans in the future, wherever you are on that spectrum. And this ought to be one of the things that should unite all of us in saying, no, we are not in favor of deregulation that puts the American taxpayer, and more importantly, the American economy at greater risk. So